Hey, what's up, my on fire fishing family? Um, today I'm actually super excited. Um, so I'm actually gonna go diving with my boy Nu, uh, the big dude, um, my firefighter fishing buddy. Um, but you know what? I haven't dove in like two months, so you know, I finally get to go. I hurt my back really bad, but I got an MRI and they said I'm all good at least to dive, so yes. We're gonna go diving. I'm gonna get to use my new spear. My I got a new hammerhead roller. So it'd be super cool to finally get to use that roller gun and see what the difference is and every and the learning curve on that and everything else. And also I'm gonna use my of course my Kai spear, my Kai ham caster spear. That three prong is awesome. Best three prong I ever had. I picked up another one too, so uh hopefully new can use it too. Um yeah, so hopefully, wish us luck. We're gonna go maybe for taco, fish, whatever. It'd just be good to get in the water. So, all right, guys, let's go. Holo, holo. Landmarks. All right, there we go. No landmarks. What's up, new? Let's go. Let's go get some something, taco something. Hey, you guys. I've been in the water a long time, so hopefully we get something. Wish us luck. Thumbs up for good luck. All right. All right. Here we go on our first drop. Yes, uh, it feels so good to feel be back in the water. But look how murky it is. So we go on our first drop, we search for about 20 minutes and nothing. There's no taco, no fish, no pretty dead. So I told him, hey man, let's just swim back to the boat, move area, and sometimes you just gotta do this. So here we go, drop number two. Yes, uh, all right. So this spot, a little bit more clean, and there's more structure. So we looked around for taco for another 10, 15 minutes, nothing. So I told him, ah, you know what? We'll switch over. So we grabbed our, we grabbed the three prongs and you know, time to rock the stick, baby. Yeah, here, check this out. This is the Kai Akahele spear, carbon fiber, super sick spear, man. This thing is fast and strong. So what I do is I attach this little float to the end of my three prong or to the end of my spear gun when I have it clipped to my float. That way it doesn't snag the bottom, doesn't hunt a pot of reef. So that way it streamlines it and makes it less drag and it's a perfect way to keep your spear up. All right, time to get some fryers. As fishing grills would say, snacks boo. <laughs> there we go, so I'm over here, I'm super <laughs> um, trigger shy because I guess I want to get a really good shot on this fish. I don't want to just shoot it and rip off because I haven't done it so long. I'm like, oh, I'm rusty, I'm rusty. So I'm just taking, trying to make the best shots I can. You know, and I don't need much. I just go take just what I need, just for dinner. Just a couple, like one each, you know, for my family. And uh, here we go. Yes, uh, just aim for that yellow dot. <laughs> and then bam. Oh, amateur. Rusty. <laughs> All right, here we go. Gotta make up for that one. <laughs> All right, right after I shot that cole, I seen a school of kala swim by. So I was like, yes. So I grabbed my gun and I drop down into this kind of channel area and I go down to the bottom and I just wait. So I'm just laying there for, you know, for a little while and then when I was waiting down there I seen the school start to come back and <laughs> right when they're getting close Nu came back and he scared all the fish away but yeah, I guess I'm pretty hidden if he just kind of swam right over me or close to me <laughs> he didn't see me till last minute and then I was cruising a little while and then, then the school came streaking by so I kind of chased him I know you're not supposed to but I wanted to see the range on this gun and Boom! I hit the fish, super long shot, and my reel starts screaming. But I did the cardinal sin, I grabbed the string so it wouldn't get away and it ripped off. 
Alright, it's our last hurrah. Didn't shoot shit. Nice small stuff. So, Lou gotta shoot something or we're failures. <laughs> Alright, hold me to something. Here we are with drop number three. And, you know, we said, let's just go for something bigger. Let's just go try to work the ledge. And what we're gonna do is just kind of creep on the ledge and work the drop off and hopefully just snipe something. So what you do is you kind of just dive down, maybe go to the first or second ledge and just just hide and wait. And either it's gonna be a nice fish or a shark in your face. So it's the, it's the Russian roulette of sharks. <laughs> so right here, New's working it. He's working the second, uh, was at the first, second ledge, just hanging out. And then the other guy keeps watch for any sharks. And also, if he gets in trouble, the guy on top can just, you know, help him out. So this is the one up, one down method, yeah? So when he goes up, I'm just going to breathe up right now, relax. And then when it's my turn, he comes back over the shelf. I'm going to go over and uh, take his place. And hopefully, eventually, something will swim by. That's the name of the game. Here we go, my turn. So I'm just gonna go slide over the edge and what I like to do is I kind of book it to the bottom. I just go straight down. And I, I know I wasn't gonna stop at the first or second ledge. I was gonna go all the way to the bottom. I mean, straight to like touching sand. And then what I like to do is I kind of like cover and I, <laughs> I wait down there and then toss the sand. And sometimes I actually even shooting up toward the school. Cause they'll swim above me and usually when you're that deep it gets cold and they don't really see you they kind of just swim right above you they're not even scared so i i'm just cruising on the bottom for kind of a long time just waiting for somebody to swim by in fact we had to come back up and then just just wait for me up there but <laughs> oh no what if something happened to me you didn't even grab me huh <laughs> all right so here we go I, i'm at the bottom just cruising and I'm trying to find a place to hide so I'm just kind of looking around trying to find a nice cozy place to get comfortable and you guys see those poalus right on the right so when I see those black fish usually they're stuff in the back and here comes the school caller shook look at this snipe you know what this thing actually has some range because I thought it was kind of far when I took the shot I just oh did it hit it it went right through the fish and I had to go all the way to the surface and I could feel him tangling on the coral below so I just took a quick breath and then booked it back down to the bottom and just untangle this and you know get this guy under control try to brain him because you don't want all this commotion because this really brings in the sharks so <laughs> I'm trying to grab him as quick as I can brain him and yes uh, look at that the shaft went all the way through the fish I mean, just this new roller, hammerhead roller gun. Oh, it's mean. The power, the zero recoil, the accuracy. Man, I am a roller fan now. So, look at this. Yes, uh, my kids are going to be so stoked. We never have fried fish and call a long time. So stoked. So, so stoked. And then, right here, I so I put this fish on the stringer. And I'm trying to secure my um, all my line, trying to reload. And then new calls on the surface. He's like, hey, bro, hurry up. Hey, move back from the shelf. So I'm like, shoot, 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 right on, right on. So I thought a fish is coming down the line. So I'm trying to frantically load my gun, get everything squared away. He's like, hey, move back from the shelf. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Fish coming down. So I'm, I'm trying to snipe over the edge, look, and there's still a lot of fish. So I'm like, okay, cool. Something's coming down. So I reload my gun and I'm just getting it ready, ready. So I'm thinking probably a lure, a wheel, something's coming by. Pow pow, so I'm like, yes, sir. Uh. But at, right when I finished loading my gun, all the fish disappeared. And I, I, I'm like, no, what are you talking about? I didn't see anything, you know? Because right here, I seen the school, and then, woof, they all disappeared. I was like, okay, well, whatever. And then new swam over to me. He's like, hey, bro, you didn't, um, she just three big hammerheads that came rolling through. I was like, you sucker! <laughs> just let me know next time. Put the hand above your head, shark signal, and let me know there's a shark. I thought you meant a fish was coming down. Sucking guy. <laughs> well, what an awesome day diving.
I got this monster. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> but at least I got this nice collar and some fryers for the, um, you know, so we got some dinner. We're going to make an awesome grill collar, crab-like texture. And also we're going to make my version of fish and chips with this kole and some fried ulu. Check it out, guys. All right, tired of getting poke? All you got to do is just put it in your little fish holder here. And then shoot them off. Yeah, all the scales come off so easy. Damn. That's it. Flip them over, shoot them off, and cherry. Oh, yeah, baby. Real simple. Just Hawaiian salts. And we'll fry these up. Got our beautiful ulu, now we cut it and we go BAM! Woo! So a little sea salt, Japanese sea salt on ulu, fry this up and BOOM! Alright, we got our ulu chips crisping up right here. We got our kole in a pan ready to go, one mani. We're gonna, this is already pre-salted, cut up, clean. We're gonna obviously cook this first so the, fish, uh, the chips don't get oily. Are fishy and then throw these guys in right after and it's gonna be mmm delicious. Yes sir. Woo! That is the sound of delicious. Woo yes sir. Alright, here we go. Fried cola. Can I beat it? Woo! Look at that. Think your oil orange thing is a winner. Crispy and delicious. Alright, here we go. Woohoo! Chicken, it looks cherry. Maybe we gotta flip this bugger over. Oh, this bugger heavy. Oh, there you go. You want that? You hear that? Should sound like a shell. So, you want this thing to almost like be able to peel off, it's like super crispy, peel off, and you know you're set. So, we have this goal. Take it a little bit more, throw it on the side. This thing gonna be another five minutes and be cherry. Yeah. Raja. All right, here we go. Ha, baby. You see this? You hear that? When the skin gets a shell-like texture and you peel it off like this, you know it's done. Let's go check the other side. Oh yeah, baby. What you think, son? Yeah. Cherry. Oh yeah, don't forget the butter. Butter makes everything better. All right, we got our collar right here. Nice and crispy shell. This is gonna be, this actually tastes like crab meat. You pull this off, put it with the butter and garlic. It is absolutely delicious. It's just like crab meat. So what you got? Um, fried fish. And then Nomi, what did you make? Um, two sauces. Ooh, what do you mean? The, well, they're kind of the same. Just this one is gochujang. And yeah. so this is just shoyu, rice vinegar, sesame oil, and sugar. Ooh, so tonight is Korean night at the Waterhouse. house. So we made, uh, what is this? Like, you know the one you make Mijun for the mijun sauce? sauce? Yeah. So we made this one and the spicy one. And they both are delicious. How is it, son? Good. Look here. How's it? Good. All right, here we go, son. Try to call it. How is it? Mmm. It's like crap. Yeah. We got our fish and chips. So thank you, Kai. Handcrafted Spears. One of the best spears on the market. Absolutely. And then, of course, thank you for Uncle John. He gave us some ulu. So what we did was just basically cooked it blanched it and then fried it and look at that nice and crispy ulu chips it, like can you hear that mmm woo it's hawaii versions of fish and chips mmm ulu chips with kole mmm and my daughter's secret korean sauce here you go mmm <laughs> so good mmm so good. So we have a beautiful collar right here. And again, this is a bigger fish, easier to shoot. You just grill it to just 
crispy skin falls apart. Look at that. And then the more you cook it, the more chewy it gets. I know that's counterintuitive, but what happens is it tastes really like a crab texture. That makes it a little butter and garlic. Of course, this is all they left me. Bam! Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. Woo! Oh, a little bit more. Mmm, that is so good. Can't afford crab? Shoot one of these poison crab. Boom! Lick your screen, baby. Hey, aloha, guys. Thank you guys so much for everything. We did, you know, we hit 5,000 subscribers. That's awesome. Let's keep it going. So make sure you guys like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. And um, yeah, we've got a lot of cool stuff coming up. So make sure you guys check it out. Um, till next time. Oh, keep watching if you guys want to see some bloopers and some extra footage um, right after this. <laughs> All right, make sure you guys take care of yourselves. And take care of others. All right, catch you on the next one. Hello, guys. Okay, go. This is Okay, go. Yeah. Okay, go. All right, this is what left with the manini, and to be honest, I don't like manini. But easy to shoot, and for beginners, it is the way to go. But. Tonight is a game changer. I had manini. All you have to do is salt, pepper. Don't even do much. Just clean it, fry it. Take this. Ooh, minus the bones. <laughs> Get, dip it in this red sauce, which is basically a Korean dipping sauce. You know the one you get from Ijeon? And mmm. <laughs> so good.